Now you can use Photoscap X Pro to put in effects in your picture. Now for example, after you open Photoscap X Pro, you just come to the editor. Now what I'll do, I'll just drag in a picture. For example, I'll drag in this kind of a picture here. Yeah, then you're just going to use, remember, you're supposed to be the editor. Then the next thing, there's this section here, we're going to use the effects. So you're going to look at all these aspects in the effects. Let's start with the first one, threshold. See what happens. But the good thing about Photoscap uh, X, you can use the mask. You click the mask here, maybe you just want to change the this person's face <laughs> so that it, it looks like, I don't know. So you can easily do that uh, using a mask, as you can see there, to create that effect. You can even uh, reduce the amount or increase the amount, tolerance, you can, uh, you can play around with all this, just to create that effect in uh, a picture. You can also use these uh, masks here, you can use these ones here, or you can, you can decide the, the lower part to be the one that has that effect. If you apply, this is how it will be. Let me just undo so that you go to the next one. Now let's then you have jitters yeah maybe this is good if you want to blur again if you want to uh, make it good use the brush and maybe you want to blur these people here maybe uh, only this person should be visible the front person to be visible you can easily use that then you have uh, edge the same thing you can just mask out this part here just like that so that this part comes like that then you have emboss of course emboss you know you're embossing a picture it becomes in front then you have watercolor pencil, you can also do that. Then we have uh, uh, posterites. I think you, I like these effects. You can play around with it. Maybe don't put so much of it. Maybe you want a picture to look like a drawing. Also, you can mask, mask some part. Maybe this guy is the one that should have that effect, just like that. So I'll just, uh, if you compare this, it will be, I'll just cancel that. Then we have, uh, okay, where are we? You have this one, okay, we look at that one. We have cell phone, I think you've seen that. Uh, data, I think you've seen that. Something like black and white stippling. Uh, let's see what it does. Uh, as you can see that, again, you can just mask. Maybe you just want this part only. You can easily do uh, that, I'll just cancel that. Then brush strokes, yep. You have seen that you can play around with the amount and wherever just cancel that then we have mosaic yeah this one you can use to blur maybe a section maybe for example i have a vehicle let me just pull a vehicle here maybe i want to cover the number plate so i can use mosaic but now i want to use the mask so that i just blur uh, also the brushes i'll, I'll change maybe so it little so i just do this it will just cover the number plate as you can see there i'll just cancel that let me just uh, insert another picture so that you continue maybe this one here yeah so we have that one ah you see what it does it, it puts many effects many at see if you have many faces uh there maybe you can play around with this mount you want it to be less less Yes. I think it's good for creating patterns. If you want to create patterns, you can easily uh, use that. Even you can even play around with the angle. You can easily play around with the angle. Maybe I want now this one to focus. Yeah, I think you see the effect that it creates there. Then I'll just cancel that. Then we have triangles. Hmm, loads a little bit. Yeah, you see what it does. It makes a picture look as if it's an old picture. Then we have crystallized, I think you have seen that almost the same as triangle. Frosted glass is good, especially you want to get that effect that there's frost or somebody is showering. I think stained glass, I think you can use this to create a pattern. Then we have glass blocks. Ah, I think you can, you can also mask this one out. Maybe you just want some section there. Let me increase the brush size as you can see there. Yeah, I'll just cancel that. Then we have uh, illusion. I think it creates that illusion of many pictures. You can add how many illusions you want. There you can, uh, uh, you can, I'll just cancel that. Then we have motion blur. This is good, especially if you want to create that motion blur. A vehicle is moving very fast. Uh, Somebody is running very fast. I think you can use uh, that. Then you have zoom blur. Yeah, also the same. You want to create that effect of speed people are running then we have radial blur the same as speed twill 
think this one increased that uh, effect of water, radial. I think you've looked at that. Uh, we have wave, that effect of water, underwater. As if you are inside a glass or inside a the water. Then lines, yeah, that effect. Concentric, as you can see there. You can play around with this. Console. Then we have uh, radial effect. Now let me let me show you how you can use the radial effect. Maybe I have this picture here, and I want to portray as if uh, <laughs> I see that as if uh, somebody holy. I don't know. You can even play around with the colors. Maybe I want that one. Uh, density also you can play around. Yeah, you can do that. Then we have the spotlight. Maybe you just want to spotlight a section. Maybe the face create any, any illusion of uh yeah you can just do uh that then if i apply that's how it will be guys that's how to use the effect section of photoscap x pro remember photoscap Scap x pro most aspects most uh, setup or tools here are free see you in the next video